Welcome to Commander Class number 96. We are four more weeks away to hit that amazing 100 and I've been happy with the journey so far. So in today's class we'll be going over protection. Protection is a keyword and it's quite as simple as it seems but there is just many different variations of it so there might have been some you don't know about. So in this class I'll be explaining what protection is, giving it a simplified version of it for the people that don't understand and then showing off different ways it can be used and then showing off some commanders that have it. So please sit down and enjoy this class while we go over protection but before I go any further a word from our sponsor. The word from our sponsor is me. I have a small little Etsy shop where I make cool designs and cool t-shirts in multiple colors and sizes for you to enjoy. They are super soft and really high quality. It would be really good if you get your hands on one. The main reason I ask for people to buy my merch is for two reasons. One, you get to enjoy something comfortable by spending money and then I'm able to get better equipment like mics and cameras and stuff like that and to be able to pay for hopefully a better background and stuff like that for you to then enjoy the videos. So it's like a continuous cycle. But now that that's over and don't know what is the definition of protection? Protection is actually probably one of the longest definitions I've seen. So here we go. This ability is written as protection from quality. A creature with protection from a quality cannot be enchanted, equipped, blocked, or targeted by anything with that quality, and all damage that would be dealt by a source of that quality is prevented barring exceptions which explicitly state otherwise. For example, a creature with protection from red cannot be enchanted by red auras, blocked by red creatures, targeted by red spells and abilities, or take damage from red sources. A common mnemonic for which effects are prevented by protection is the acronym DET, standing for damage, enchant, or equip, block, target. Note that the protection ability does not prevent effects that do not target. For example, though Black Knight has protection from white, it would still be destroyed by Wrath of God since Wrath of God does not target a creature. So in layman's terms, this is a really weird ability that you actually don't see much of when you play, mainly because not difficult, but not many people understand it fully, so they just would rather not play it than play it. I do think it is very powerful but because there's so many different variations when it comes to magic there's so many different variations most people would rather put in the more powerful card than the card with protection because we'll say for example on the thing if a card has protection from red and then you sit down on the table and everyone's playing blue green and white that protection is pretty much useless. Plus getting the right protection on the right creature does not seem that easy. But it does many things depending on what type of protection it has. It gives pretty much borderline indestructible. For example, if someone has a black or green kill spell and you have protection from black or green, your card is completely fine, but only if it's targeted. If it is a board white, it also gets rid of it. Protection from the keyword has to be a targeted ability. So if you have protection from any of the colors and someone plays a card, that's just a generic board wipe for everyone. Unfortunately, your creature's dead, so it does come out with downsides. And I'm pretty sure I could be wrong here. If it has protection from red, you yourself cannot put like a red enchantment or aura on it. It all depends on how it's played. And because of these small little details, it's not really seen or played that much. But there is many different ways to gain protection. And here is some more text explaining that. If a creature gains protection while some of these effects are present, different things may happen. Any aura, equipment, or fortifications attached to it that are no longer legally attached to it fall off, becoming unattached. For example, a creature with a red aura gains protection from red or a creature with an equipment attached gains protection from artifacts. Auras that are not attached to anything are then put into their owner's graveyards, while equipment and fortifications stay on the battlefield. Any spells of that quality, or abilities of permanence of that quality, that target it lose that creature as a target. For example, a creature gained protection from red in response to being targeted with lightning bolt. 
If they no longer have any legal targets, the spell fizzles and is countered by the game rules. However, a creature gaining protection in response to being blocked by a creature does not cause it to become unblocked, though it will prevent all damage that blocking creature would do to the creature with protection. So the best and possible way to kind of fully understand protection is by depth. Depth is a four letter word that means multiple different things for each letter. Starting off with D being Damaged by sources with a specified quality. All such damage is prevented. This pretty much means if a card has protection from a certain color and it gets damaged, it stays alive. It doesn't actually get damaged because it has protection from it. E is Enchanted, equipped, or fortified by permanence with the specified quality. This stops that creature being able to be equipped and stuff like that by the property of the protection it has. Now we're on to B, which is... Blocked by creatures with the specified quality. This is very simple. If it has protection from green and someone attacks it with a giant green, like, 7-7 seven, seven creature, your creature, even if it's a 1-1 one, one that has protection from it, can block it and be like, haha, nothing happened, unless that creature has trampled. And then finally, T with... Targeted by spells with a specified quality, or by abilities from sources of that quality. This just really means it cannot be targeted by spells of those colours, but that also means you. If you have protection from green and you have a card that says target creature gets plus one plus one or a plus one plus one counter, you cannot target your own creature, so it does come with its benefits and downsides. But in my personal opinion, the main reason people don't play protection or the way protection is not really seen is the vast number of protections. There is way too many and then some kind of funny ones in the unsets, but there is a long list of protections and trying to work that into a game that's already as complicated as Magic is, is a bit too much. But here is the entire list. You get protection from color, protection from chosen color, protection from artifacts, protection from creature types, protection from legendary creatures, protection from all colors, protection from creatures, protection from enchantments, protection from Instance protection from its colors, protection from sorceries, protection from chosen type, protection from artists, protection from wordy, protection from spell type, protection from monocolored, protection from multicolored, protection from snow, protection from specified mana value, protection from chosen card, protection from everything, protection from lands, protection from colored spells, protection from a chosen player, protection from die rolls, protection from black border protection from even collector numbers protection from loose lips protection from odd collector numbers protection from two word names protection from protection from watermark protection from enemy colored multi out protection from modified creatures protection from even odd mana value protection from planus walkers protection from colors not in your commanders Colors Identity Protection from Rarity Protection from Ring Bearers Protection from Spells and from Permanence Cast This Turn. Now if you don't know any of these fully, you can again look it up or ask in the comments down below and I will try my best to help out. There was just too many and I don't know people's kind of knowledge when it comes to the game of going, this is what this means, this is what that means. So I just thought I would just put the generic list down and go, if anyone has any serious questions, I will help out. But this would not be a commander class if I didn't talk about any commanders. So here is a small list of commanders with protection. A chroma. Angel of Fury, Animer, Soul of Elements, Banislayer Angel, Emrakul, The World Anew, Geodrome de Huda, Green Slaves, Morrow Sorcerer, Haytham Kaneway, Catilda, Don Hurt Prime, Progenitus, Tisa, Envoy of Ghosts, Yogmith, Thran Physician. Not gonna lie, Anima is one of my favorite commanders that I've ever built. Probably like a not my top three, but maybe possibly my top five. I absolutely love the deck, but it's a very difficult deck to shuffle after I've used it. So if you've played any of these commanders or have any questions when it comes to protection or anything like that, let me know in the comments down below. While you're there, remember to like and subscribe and watch all my videos and share and all do that youtube -y stuff that we always ask for. But if you've enjoyed this class, I have last week's class. 
here, a playlist of all the command classes I do here, and a subscribe button here. And we are four more away from 100 episodes, so hopefully you are there for that. Thank you for all the support, and I will see you all in the next episode.